Hi there, Hassan here and today I want to show you one of the easiest way to create a virtual host in, in a Vagrant box or even a Vagrant server uh, or even if you are on a Linux uh, development environment this is going to also work for you and I'm going to use a tool to create the virtual host uh, a tool that I've written almost a year ago and which is written in Python and I'm gonna show you how we can use the tool to automate the process and create virtual host and uh, within just twinkle of an eye so let's go ahead and start the first thing the tool need is to go to this github page and I will give the link in the description so go to the page and copy this uh, git URL here just copy that then you wanna go make sure you wanna you have a running, uh, you you have a running Vagrant box, a Vagrant server, I mean, and then you want to go to. No, I'm inside. I'm not in the into my Vagrant server, so I need to uh, Vagrant SSH. So I need to access into my Vagrant server. So in order to do that, what we had to do is to Vagrant SSH. Probably gonna take a little while, and we are inside our uh, Vagrant server, right? so right now let me go to the vagrant directory and then what i really wanted to do is is simply i want to clone this project into my directory so say git clone and i'm just i have previously have copy copied this url i'm just gonna paste that back in here press enter and it will clone the entire directory and it's been done mm, that's pretty great all right so uh, here I have the Apache virtual host creator so let me get into that directory and I have all the stuff that I really need right so let's go ahead and uh, type in Python and then type AVH press tab that will automatically can uh, complete the file name and then press enter but before we press enter make sure we want to type here sudo um, so press enter and there you go welcome to Apache virtual creator okay so what would be the domain name so let's say youtube.dev press enter what would be the public directory name I prefer it as public so just press enter what would be the server parent directory now my server is located in the on the um, vagrant directory not in the var, var www so I'm gonna change that to vagrant and that way press enter and server parent directory ok now change directory permissions no I don't need to so I'm just gonna press enter to skip this process that's great so success uh, we, ha we have done we have created the virtual uh, host that was super easy right and we didn't have to touch anything in the in the server side and as you can see uh, there's automatically a folder created on my windows as well where the background background has synced the directory between the server and so forth and they have created they have had a index file there as well the, all, all the process just happens to be automatically right that was super easy now we need to do what is we need to create a uh, we need to uh, add this to our windows hosts file right now if you're on a mac os or if you're on a, any, any other unix or linux system you need to do it uh, you need to do you need to just edit the host file and you have to uh, point the uh, vagrant box ip to this uh, domain right here right and this could be this domain could be whatever you imagine of so right uh, so go to the start menu and type in notepad right click and run as administrator yes and that would bring the notepad now click on the file open and we are already in there but if you're not then you need to go to this directory C drive and then go to the Windows directory then system 32 then drivers then inside the A to C and make sure we choose in all files then select the hosts open and this is my vagrant box IP address now if you're not sure about this IP address just go to the uh, go to the vagrant so just open up the vagrant file 
just open up the vagrant file and here you would find the IP address right here so this is our vagrant server IP this is definitely a private IP right so you can just copy this from here if you and then go back to the notepad and and type in here YouTube our domain name that we just created right right a few seconds back right uh, youtube.dev and make sure it's correct one okay file save and I think we should it should be ready to go copy this out open a new tab and it's that easy right now let's go ahead and try to change this uh, let's say hmm, Okay, so let's say, oops. Hello. What I did. Hello from YouTube.dev. And I would do what is um, refresh the page and hello from YouTube.dev. So I hope you get the idea that how we um, use a tool. Uh, to create a virtual host hope it helps and isn't that was so easy super easy right thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and if you need any help I'm on the Twitter and the Facebook with the username rocket TZ so um, yep also thumbs up the tool on github if, if you if it really helps you out and uh, it can automate the process of creating the virtual host in a Linux environment. So thanks for watching. Hope it helps.